Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to import Outlook emails into Excel with Power Automate and why do it. Myself, Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, before we move ahead and we talk about that, how we can import our Outlook emails into our Excel, I think we should answer the question that why should we do it? Well, it's because if we want to automate our processes, we should go for this option. Because let's say you have a business and you receive all of your orders into your emails or into your Outlook. So either you can check one by one all the emails and extract the information about the orders you are getting or you can automate that process so with the help of power automate we can automate all this process and we can make sure that every order we get gets to microsoft excel sheet and by looking at microsoft excel sheet we can process all those orders so it will not only save us a lot of time but it will automate all the process on its own and we do not have to worry about missing out on any order so in my case i have a skills build training youtube channel and i am receiving orders in terms of the videos so what i want i want every order to appear in my excel sheet so that i only have to look into my excel sheet and i can determine that how much orders do i have at this moment so basically here i want from it means who have sent the order date received of that order who was cc and then i want to know what type of video my customer wants and then i want to have duration of that particular video and not only that i also want to have the deadline that is given to me by my customer and at the end i have one more column that is called as delivered well this is the column that i have here for my own convenience for example if i delivered first order i can mark it delivered and then the rest of the order will remain as undelivered or no now the question is how can we do this magic process well it's very simple first of all head to your office.com and make sure to log in into this one if you do not have your microsoft account do not worry just create a free one after that the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an excel sheet so just click on this excel and it will open a new excel sheet for you i have already created one with the name of video orders in your case you just need to click on new blank workbook and it will open a new excel sheet for you just like this one so it is loading it up and it will look something like this and now let's talk about a little bit that how i have designed this one well just click on any of the column and then after that just drag it to the place where you want it to end but make sure to keep pressing your shift key just like this one after that i'll press my shift key once again and i'll drag it downwards now go to your home section at the top and here we have an option that says merge just click on it and it will merge everything in here now you can have your text in here after that you can select all of your text and you can increase the text size in here and this is how i have designed my header now the question is how do we make this type of table well it's really simple just click on any of the column go to your insert tab and click on table and here it is asking if we have a header into our table yes we do have just click on ok and here we have the first one it says column one we can rename it as well just double click on it and rename it with your information and as per your liking after that we can copy this one and we can paste it anywhere and as many times as we want so here you see now we have successfully pasted it i'll do that again i'll paste it in here and there is one more way that we can follow and that is just keep pressing your control key and drag it to the point where you want to left it and it will have the columns on its own now you can replace these columns with your name or with your own information and you are good to go so this is how i have created this one let me just delete everything from here and now let's get back to our business so we are done with the excel sheet now let's go back to your office.com and in here we need power automate we do not see that in here well do not worry just go to the top and click on app launcher and from here go to your all apps and from here you will be able to see power automate i'll just click on this one and it will open a new window for me like this let me just close this book now from here you see we have different things that we can go for we have different templates that we can use it means we do not have to design anything we can just select a template and we are good to go for example here we have a template that we can use with onedrive here we have for gmail 
then we have Twitter, we have Power BI, and we have many other things that we can go for. But I want to create a new one. And in case, if you want to create a new one, just click on this plus create button and it will create a new flow for you. Now, from here, we need to select one of these. I want to select the one that says automated cloud flow. Just click on it and from here, give a name to your flow. I'll name it as mails to Excel sheets or Excel sheet. After that, here we want to have a trigger or it means it is asking what should happen to trigger this particular operation. I want to trigger it whenever a new email arrives into my inbox. So I'll write here email arrives. And here if you see, we have an option that says when a new email arrives, V2, then V3. V3 is for those who have business or school account. This is for those who have free account. Down here, we also have some other options that we can go for, but we need this one for this particular video. So I'll just click on it. After that, I'll just click on this create button and it will create a new flow for us. Now here we have a flow and this is the folder. It means whenever a new email arrives into our inbox, that will be delivered into our Excel sheet. In case if you want to change the folder, you can do so. Just click on this folder option and from here, select the folder that you want to go for. So here I have many. I can select anyone as per my liking, but I'm okay with the inbox. After that, if you just click on show advanced option, let me just cross this one. So basically here we have two CC, two or CC from include attachment. In case if you want to include attachments into your Excel sheet, you can go for. At the moment, I have selected no. Now here it is asking subject filter. It means is there any filter that you want to have for your inbox? Yes, I do want to have. And that is, I want only those emails that comes with a subject called as video order. So I'll just mention it in here. I'll write here video order. Now any email with this particular subject in it will be considered for my Excel sheet. Every other email will not be considered. After that, we have some other information that we can have in here. Now we are done with this information. Now I'll just click on new step and we are done with the first one. Now, what we want to do next? Well, I want to have HTML to text. It means everything that is there into my email, I want it as text. So for that, I'll write here HTML to text and let's see what do we get. Well, here you see, we have a lot of options that we can go for. And here it says HTML to text preview. So I'll just click on it. And now just click on this section. Now, what type of content do we want to have as a text from HTML? Either we can have subject, body, body preview, message ID, and things like that. Extract the information from the body of my emails, and then it will convert it into a text, and then it will send it to my Excel sheet. So we are done with this one. After that, I'll just click on new step. And this time I want to show you one more thing. First of all, let me just search for Excel in here. And in terms of Excel, we have different options. We can go for Excel online business or Excel online OneDrive. Well, obviously as we are using Excel on OneDrive, that is why I'll just click on this one. And after that, down here, we have different actions that we can perform. So for the moment, what I'll do, I'll just scroll down and I'll select the one that will add a new row into my table. This is how it will look like. Now, here it is asking the file name that we want to attach with our Power Automate and with our Outlook. So just click on this folder icon and you will see all the Excel files that are there into your OneDrive. And here, if you see, we have a file with the name of video orders. I'll just click on this one. And down here, it is asking for the table in which we should insert this information. I'll just click on this drop down arrow. And here we have a table with the name of table one. So I'll just click on this one and we are good to go. Now, as soon as I have selected table one, it has selected every field on its own. So we have from, date received, CC, video type, duration, deadline, delivered. If I go to my Excel sheet, we have the same information in here. Okay, for the from section, just click on it. And here we have dynamic content. Now I'll select from section from here. So what it will do, whatever and whoever is there in the from section of my email will be into my table in from column. Same goes for date received. So for the date received, I'll go for receive time. Then for the CC, here we have an option for CC. I'll just click on it. But for the video type, we do not have anything in here because this is something customized and this will be something that will vary from email to email. So for that kind of information, instead of using dynamic content, we should go for expression. Expression is something that we should design on our own. 
So basically what I'll do, I'll just paste the expression in here for video type and I'll put that in the description of this video so that you can use that directly. But I'll explain it to you what it is. So here we have the expression. Basically before I explain this one, let me show you an email template. This is how I'm expecting my emails. Video type, screen recording or it can be anything. Then for the duration, I have 15 minutes, then I have my deadline. So basically with the help of expressions, I'm extracting the values of these things, which is video type. So what it will do, it will extract this information, which is screen recording. For the duration expression, it will extract this information, which is 15 minutes. And for the deadline, it will extract this information, which says five days. So let's go back. So we are done with the video type. So I'll just click on OK. For the duration, I'll again go for the expression and I'll paste it. And instead of video type, I'll change it with duration. So I'll just write here duration. Then I'll click on OK. Now for the deadline, I'll use the same expression, but I'll change it with the duration instead of video type. Now, instead of video type, I'll change it with deadline. So I'll just write here deadline and we are good to go. Now delivered column is something in which I'll have the value on my own. So now I'll just hide this one. So we are done with the design and everything that was needed for our flow. After that, just click on this save button and it will save this one into our one drive. And now here it says your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. So basically let's send an email to our outlook and let's see if the data gets added into our this file or into this Excel sheet or not. So for that purpose, let me go to my Gmail and I'll send an email from a different account to my Outlook account. So this is my Gmail. So basically, let's just send an email to this Outlook account and subject should be video order. And if you remember, we also have a column for CC. CC column is there for, let's say I have a manager or a team lead and my customer also want to make sure that my team lead or my manager gets the email as well. So that is why we have CC column in there. So for CC, you can have anything in here. I'll just have a random email in here. And after that, we are done. Now here, we need to add the content or the body of our email. It can be anything, but my Power Automate will extract only this information. So we are done with the content of our email as well. Now it's time to just click on the send button. And as soon as this email arrives into my Outlook, that information will be added into my Excel sheet as well. So here we have received an email successfully. This is the sender, this is the CC, and down here we have the content of our email. Now we want to see if this information is there into our Microsoft Excel sheet or not. And here if you see, we have all the information in here. This is the from, which is the sender, date received, CC, then we have video type, its duration, and deadlines. And as soon as we are done with this order, we can mark this one as completed, or we can write here yes. So basically, instead of looking at all the emails one by one, what we can do, we can automate the process and we can have every order in here so that we can make sure we are up to date and we delivered everything. So this was all about that how we can extract our emails from Outlook to our Excel sheet. And that was all about this particular video. And I hope now that you must have learned a few new things. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible with the next video. Till then, take care.